Hello, this is Alessandrina and today I wanted to share with you a little bit about the lens through which we look at ourselves, others, our relationships and the world. And so that lens, uh, you could say that it's similar to wearing uh, glasses and when we're wearing glasses, if we have tinted uh, glasses, then we might see the world differently than it is. And if we've been wearing those glasses for a while, we may not realize that the way that the world is is different than the way that we see the world through our glasses, so through the lens. So the lens is kind of invisible to us. It's not uh, something that we're aware that we uh, have or that we're looking at the world through that lens. It's just there. <laughs> it's subjective. The lens is the result of our conditioning, of our karmas, of um, the different ways in which we've had experiences that we've interpreted that then uh, essentially resulted in us recording something about reality that is not true and then we continue to uh, perceive reality through that lens. So the implication of having a lens and not being aware of it, and everyone has a lens, until we've completely cleared our subconscious mind and we don't have any recordings from the past, any programs, any conditioning, we will have a lens through which we look at the world. So there's, there's different implications of looking at the world through our lens. The first one is that it's going to affect our perception of reality. So we will look at the world through that lens and then whatever we see we will believe to be true. That's number one. Number two, when we uh, look at the world through a certain lens, we're also going to attract that to us, magnetize that which we believe to be true to us, because we are going to be in that energy, we're going to be uh, essentially believing that the world is that way, and through that, beginning to bring that to us so that we interact with that quote-unquote reality, so that we learn from it, so that we can resolve our uh, misconceptions, misperceptions of reality, our misunderstandings, and become clearer vessels and more able to, um, to attain a higher state of consciousness where we can more accurately and comprehensively uh, and precisely perceive what is. A third aspect of that, of having that lens, is we're going to project that onto the world. So even if it's not happening, we're going to, whatever someone is doing, whatever is happening in the world, we're going to project that belief, that perception, onto reality. And so now, <laughs> we're seeing, we're perceiving the world through that lens. We're attracting that to us, which we perceive. And then we're also projecting it. So even if it's not happening, we're projecting it and therefore we're experiencing it. So you may have heard that whatever we believe at the level of the subconscious, we're going to experience the chemistry, the biology of the hormones, the, um, all of the um, nervous system reactions to our belief. So the reason I'm saying that is that whatever you believe, whatever lens you're looking at the world from, it's going to become your reality, even if it's not true, even if it's not real, even if what you're projecting is not really happening, what you're perceiving is not really happening, because you perceive it, because you project it, now your subconscious mind is uh, sending the signals to your whole system saying it is happening and therefore you experience it. So now it does become your reality through that process. So understanding that is so very important because 
once you understand that you're looking at the world through a lens and that that lens creates your reality, then you are empowered and motivated to change the way that you're uh, looking at the world and to question that lens through which you've been looking at the world. And by questioning that lens, by being willing to actually look at it and to, um, to really kind of dismantle it and say, well, is this really true? Or where did I inherit this from? How this, did this come to be? When you do that, you are now empowered to essentially be free <laughs> from that lens and from all the ways in which that lens is uh, influencing your perception of reality and therefore your experience, your direct experience of the world. So I'm inviting you to question and maybe even uh, begin to write a list of all the things that you perceive, that you believe to be true about reality and that you react to and all the ways in which that has implications on your life results and as you do that, as you allow yourself to uh, be in that process of, of reflection and questioning and understanding that the lens that you look at the world through is not real or true, that then you can change it. And therefore you can get different results, you can experience a different reality and, and that's very, very helpful. So I hope that this reflection helps you and that this process helps you. And uh, of course, once you've done that, you can clear the lens, you can clear the limiting belief, you can uh, free yourself from those perspectives, and then something new can occur. I hope this helps you. Much love.